Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Vortex Crossfire 2 rifle scope, 6 to 24x zoom with a 50 millimeter objective and a 30 millimeter tube. It features a single piece aluminum alloy construction. It's fully multi coated. It's shockproof and it's filled with nitrogen and sealed with O rings. This budget friendly scope carries a VIP unlimited unconditional warranty and comes with a few included items. So let's take a look inside the box. All right, the first thing we're gonna look at is the Vortex towel. It's fairly nice, large, and you can use that to either cover your scope with, clean it with, wrap it in it, whatever you prefer to do, or you can use it to clean your cell phone or your iPad with. Next, it comes with a sunshade that is included. I noticed on Amazon a lot of times uh, these two items are frequently bought together separately. I'm assuming a lot of people don't realize that the sunshade does come included with it. So there's no need to buy it separately. It does come inclusive and it is a nice aluminum extension for the scope. So if you're in a bright area like myself in the high desert, that could definitely come handy. So we have a manual, which I won't bore you guys with. Another manual. Wonder what the difference is. Oh, okay. Um, so it tells you not to exceed 18 inch or 18 inch pounds of torque on the ring screws, which is what I'll do is I'll make another video of an install and we'll go through all the steps and proper procedures to install the line and properly secure the scope. For that, we have these Vortex. 30 millimeter high rings and they have three screws on each side per ring so you have six six total on each one and 12 total holding the scope these are fairly inexpensive the goal of this is to prove that you don't need an expensive scope to get tight grouping shooting from a bench rest after i show you guys the scope we'll be installing it and after that we'll be taking it to the range and putting it through a test We'll be doing 100 yard and 200 yard shots with a 308 caliber and we're gonna try different ammo and see if we can get really tight groups and see if this budget scope can serve a purpose do everything you need to do while being budget mindful and not having to spend a couple of thousand dollars on a night force or similar expensive optic anyway these are the these are the inexpensive rings that we'll be using with the scope again everything was budget minded and the goal of this is to show everybody that you don't have to spend thousands on the scope to get good performance. Now, this is a, a rail that we'll be installing. I'm covering the rifle name because I'll be doing an intro video for that as well. So stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss out on that video. It is a nice rifle and we'll be taking it out to the range for some testing using this base. I'll, sh I'll have a video showing how to properly install this base, torque it down, secure it, and then um, attach the rings, level the scope, take it out for some, some range time. All right, let's look at the scope now. So that's about it. There's nothing else in the box. There's a little sticker here. Not exactly sure what that's for, but it's in there. So let's move this out of the way. All righty. Let's turn this around so you guys can take a better look. And this scope is in MOA, not MRAD, per, I believe every click it's a quarter MOA. Yes, one click is one quarter MOA. It's really nice quality. Everything feels really solid and well built as usual. Vortex is my favorite scope company, both for performance and money. And of course, they're great warranty. So it's a Crossfire 2 6x24 X, and it's a 50 millimeter objective, which is huge, which is really nice. Well, there she is. Maybe we can see if we can. Not sure if the camera will pick the reticle up. But yeah, that's that's a scope. It's it's a large scope. It definitely is big. There it is. So it's got a zoom adjustment here, which is really solid and nice. It goes all the way to 24. 
And of course you have your focus adjustment here. If my camera would focus, hello, there we go. You have a nice little vortex logo. Turrets are capped so they don't get damaged. This is a hunting scope. I think that's its main purpose and it should serve any decent hunter a great deal. Just all the specs on it, it seems like a perfect inexpensive scope uh, for hunting. And this allows you to correct the parallaxing. And I believe it's good up to 200 yards and then it goes into infinity mode. So, and like I said, this scope, the primary use of this scope is gonna be about 100 yards, 100 to 200 yards. Having said that, there's no sense of buying a really expensive scope because in my opinion, the difference between this scope and like a thousand dollar scope or even more is how clear the optics are at a long range. So the further out you're, you're shooting or you're trying to zoom, the more distortion you'll get in a cheap scope. So something like this, if you're trying to do a thousand yard shot, it's probably not going to be your best option. But if your goal or your plan with it is to go about 100 to 200 yards or even maybe out to 500, I, would, I don't see it being a problem. I just don't have use for it for that range, but personally, it's going to be, like I said, between one and 200 yards. But for someone that is looking for long range shooting, I would recommend their Viper line. One of their higher end scopes, they're going to be close to a thousand bucks, maybe a little bit less, but that's what they're made for. Uh, they're made to have great optics at a long range versus this scope is more of an entry level, something that'd be great for a hunter or somebody that just wants to do a bench shooting that isn't very long distance should yield good results i would save up to about 200 yards so that's the scope we took a look at that next what, what we'll show is a the unboxing of the rifle that the scope will be going on and in the video after that we should be putting everything together going over some basics of uh, mounting a scope and then we'll be taking it out to my favorite range for its edge drive. And this sunshade just makes it that much more better looking. It adds length to it, so now where it's really having a hard time fitting in the camera, but we'll go ahead and hold it sideways. Just for comparison, here's a uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus in a big case. Just for a size comparison, that's how large the scope is. That is a big phone. So there, there you guys have it. There's a comparison for the size to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Leave me some comments. If you guys have any good or bad things to say about the scope, I really don't know what to expect. But as always, I have faith in Vortex quality. And if you guys have any questions or have anything to add, just drop me a comment. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.